Cruiserweight here with the CFW's latest signing, Cruiserweight, Dante Steele. How you doing, man? I am happy to be here at CFWE. I'm sure the fans are happy to see me. I'm so excited. And one thing I'm bummed about is hearing the news about Rich Pretty Boy Wise. Now, apparently he suffered some fractured ribs, I believe. So I'm, I'm bummed out. I got no opponent here tonight. So I'm going to hang out here with the fans do what I do, sign autographs, and meet people that I'm Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you do have an opponent, and that's gonna be me, El Nino, with my manager, Dylan Wheeler, with Dylan Wheeler Incorporated. What are you doing? Sure. What am I doing here? You know, it's a shame that Rich Wise, which we had nothing to do with his broken ribs, am I right? Yeah, we had nothing to do with it. You and I have bad history, and I'm about to rewrite history here at CFWE. I'm gonna make my debut all over your face. I'm El Nino, this is Dylan Wheeler, and we're here to cripple the competition. See you in the ring. You're gonna need a wheelchair after we're done. This match is El Nino versus Dante Still. Yep. Both of them making their debut appearance here at the CFWE. Yep. Both of them well traveled. I have heard of them before. Seen them out, out and about on the Indies. This should be a good match. He's five and seven. Whoa. 185 pounds. Dante the Dragon Change. What's the 
He's leaving the what? audience in suspense. Oh. oh my God. He's going against him. That was very suspenseful. Oh. El Nino being sneaky coming from the back. Oh, nice chop. Breaking his forehead up against the ropes. Oh, nice. another chop. Nice knife hit shot. Nice arm drag. Nino taking a break. See a little bit of, little, nice little bit of back and forth there. Steele's had enough. He's coming after him. This never ends well, Tanya. No. Am I right or wrong? It Watch. Never Ready? Ends wrong. And, 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 and. Bam. There you go. Oh. Nice second row. Standing DDT. El Nino's going for the cover. El Nino's aggressive. Give it to him. Really? Huh, you actually have to cover to get a pin? Yep. Wow, big back elbow. Big back elbow by Del Nino. Going for the cover. El Nino is not just trying to inflict punishment. He's actually trying to win a wrestling match. Yeah. You know, I, I know there's a backstory between these two guys. It goes back to a couple different promotions. And uh, they've got quite a few going on. Oh, okay. So this, even though it's a debut for both of them here, certainly is not the first time they've ever met. Yeah, El Nino just stood on the ropes trying to get the leverage advantage. Unfortunately, that is not legal. Unfortunately, that's not legal. You know. Oh, yeah. Nice knife head chops. Nice knife head chop, El Nino. underestimated El Nino at first. And El Nino has done nothing but stay on top of him. Yeah, this whole entire match. Wow, nice. Nice snap. Nice snap. Nice, nice hit. Yep. And, wow, with a second suplex. Over the trifecta. 
Chris really works on that lower back. Oh, no, oh. front face. Yeah, that should be it, guys. I would think that would be all she wrote. What yeah, do you think, Tony? I would think so. Nope. Dante said he's not done. Yeah, Dante's not done. Dante is a long time vet. He's no kid. He knows his way around the ring. El Nino arguing with the ref about how many that was. And it was plain as day at two count. Oh, nice. Nice. Dante's pissed down. Yeah. Wow, nice vertical suplex. Dante still is on fire. Oh, yeah. Are we going to see it? Are we going to see the dragon fly? Are we going to see the dragon fly? <laughs> the front row offering some officiating advice. Yes. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Referee, start the tank count. Dante running after El Nino outside the ring. Dante still dodges a bullet. <laughs> and he knows it. <laughs> Dante still a series of headbutts. Dante stills re resilient, man. He's taking quite a lot of punishment. And he's still very much in his fight. Nice drop to hold. Take one nine. Maybe. Oh wow, nice six one nine. I'm not sure what he calls that. Called it. This version is six one nine. That was very nice. Oh, he's going to... Oh, wow. He's, Dante's still going for the submission. He's got him right in the center of the ring. And El Nino taps out. El Nino taps out to Dante Steele. Dante Steele, the impressive debut here at very CMW. Impressive. Very impressive. And what a way to start punishment. Yes. What a way to start punishment. Very impressive debut for Dante Steele. He had a guy from the outside come in and challenge him. You know, I don't know if Dante Steele's going to find a home here, but he certainly stated his stake in his claim. That was a very yeah. impressive intro match. Yeah. Yeah, the crowd, crowd digging Dante Steele. Boy. I'm a fan. I gotta be honest with you. I am too. I gotta be honest with you. I'm a fan.
you have that. I am the goddess of faith. I am something that has never been seen before and never will be seen again. So hopefully when I change the game tonight, everyone in this world will know who Karma Dean is. Folks, you heard it here. Karma Dean. She beats Riley Crow. Our next match happens to be with Riley Crow against Karma Dean. Karma Dean is making her debut to CFWE tonight. Let's turn it over to Monica Storm. Some of our fans, I think, are under the influence of narcotics or alcohol or something. I'm not sure. But that section. A little inebriated. Ladies and gentlemen, Riley Crow. Kind of our resident ass kicker chick. Pretty much kicked everybody's ass. Riley Crow actually would be the queen of trash talk. Down, yeah, you're right. She's a bitch, so it's yeah, okay. Yeah. I would say Riley Crow probably has the experience level. Um. Um, but. <laughs> ah, that was funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am very curious to see was. this match. <laughs> wow. Oh. Are they going to hug it out? Riley Crow up to her normal shenanigans. Being a bitch yeah, that she trust is. Her. Don't trust her. I mean, pretty much if you watched all film on Riley, you know she's not going to give you a clean break. Oh, they're going for the strong man hole. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. Or should I say strong woman hole? You know, Carmen Dean, she looks like a strong girl. She, 
She's built for this business. The bridge. Oh. Both outside the ring. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a place you want to be. Nice kick. I think they were going to do something different, but a fan got in the way. The number three fan got in the way. I told everybody to know that. Number three we had fan. the number one fan that wouldn't shake hands. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Punking her a bit. Maybe that's not oh. a good idea. That's probably not a good idea. I don't know that I'd punk Riley Crook. Oh, oh wow. Riley Crook just kicked Karma right in the face. Oh, yeah. that sounded kind of funny. Yeah. Riley is kicking Karma's ass. Yeah, she's pretty much kicking the shit out of her right now. I don't think there's any dispute in that. I feel like Carmen Dean's gonna have to get it together in pretty short order here to not be on the losing end of this thing. <laughs> She's showing a lot of fight in her debut. Wow. Wow. Nobody home. Nobody home there. Riley Crow's a veteran. Oh, nice. Modified swing and neck breaker. Two count. Yeah. You know, I think Riley Groves got a beef. I think the referee might be a little bit slow count. Maybe. A little bit. Definitely not to Riley Groves like it. No. Oh, the ref in between them. Sir Free's doing his job. He's a good ref. Yes, he is a very good ref. Yeah. Nice kick. Yeah, Carmadine. Oh, Carmadine is pissed. Carmadine is fired up, folks. The fans seem to like her, too. Is she going to choke slammer? I don't know. Oh. I'm not sure what that was. Oh, wow. nice clothesline. She comes with a big clothesline. You Do what? Wow. Karma Dean. The winner of your match is Karma Dean. Dean. But an impressive debut. Yes, very impressive. Impressive debut. You know, she's very resilient. She's a little bit on the small side, but she's, she's got a toughness about her that. I mean. Riley Crow is. Pissed. Riley Crow, well, this is like her second loss in a row. Nice job, Karma. Americans 
who constantly cry on the internet and want to get some clout. Vic, you're the definition of a clout chaser. You never went to war. All you did was cook. So now you want us to, oh, he went to Iraq. He's so special. You know who went to war? My man's been beating the shit out of people since he was 12 years old. What you been doing? Absolutely nothing. Nick, you got in my business one time. Now today I'm going to make sure my sauerkraut eating machine beat the shit out of you. Come on, let's go. So Michael Elray had comments. Mike sure as hell had comments. Mike, I don't know where you think you're coming from. You talk about you was from New York, but you over here hanging out with Germans and Iraqis? What the hell is wrong with you? Well, it come out Americans? Bro, you a man. I was man enough to sign up and go to war. Where were you this whole time? Talk about clout chasing. All you do is live videos every day, whining and crying all the time to what? Your fans? This is why I see what the hell you whining about. But it's all right, because after tonight, you're going to be whining. Because your so-called German monster, he's going to free the wrath of the king of battle. Because I'm here to blaze the future. Our next match features Michael Elray's newest protege, Rygar Krieger. Versus Nick Kionis. Yeah, he's taking on Nick Kionis. This story goes back to last month. Was there some interference in a Nick Kionis match? Um, basically, Michael El Rey and Ali Muhammad made their presence felt. Now, Michael El Rey has added Rygar Krieger to the stable. So Nick Kionis is going to have his hands full. So now, let's tell them about the special guest referee. Our special guest referee for this match, if you've been watching my live or my promos that I've been putting out there, is going to be Renegade Outlaw. So let's turn it over to Monica Storm. Yeah, Renegade Outlaw. That's that's kind of tipping the scales. That is tipping the scales. Wow. Whose idea was that? Who booked that? Blue Book, that garbage. The CEO. Yeah. Whoever booked that's fired. Yeah, I do think he needs to be fired. He's fired. Michael Elray. Okay. Right back, Krieger.
Michael Elrak.
as we've seen in the past, he's got a good ground game. He knows how to wrestle. Yes, he does. Takes back the head. Wow, nice shoulder tackle. Nice big shoulder tackle. Rygar Kruger's got to fire up. Big body slam. Two count. Rygar Kruger kicks out. Showing he hasn't given up, and he's double top. Oh, Krieger takes a head. Krieger's no stranger to the Mac game either. This is a good match. This is a very good match. It's kind of hard to call. Yeah. But this is a very enjoyable match. Nice. Bam. Nice. Deep. Front of a suplex. Right in the center of the ring. Can you notice definitely feel the effects in his lower back? I like a low rate. Just, there's something off the back of today. Yeah. But you know what he does, though? This guy's, you can't, you can't say his guys aren't intense. Right. They're at least intense, if nothing else. Choking him on the outside of the ring wall again. Oh, and Ali. Oh, 
Oh, wow, Ali. Ali comes in and breaks an account. Look out, Carlos. Yeah. Referee called for the bell. This Ali match, obviously, here. a disqualification. Oh, wow. Oh, they just knocked out Michael the bell. Michael Ray. Takes a flag to Rigue Tom. Why got Krieger laid it in? George Black, the equalizer. Thank you. 
and she likes you to today. So I'm here. I think the signs have definitely been defined here for this big tag team match coming up in August. I got one thing to say. Uh -oh. USA! USA! Yeah. USA! Everybody says USA. USA! USA! You're going to have a dick of I say. You know, you're kind, of, you're kind of a dick if you don't say it. Welcome to three here, and you're watching CFW as we present Punishment. Thank you. Hey, this is just a quick message from the leader of the Cruiserweights. Christian Mills. <laughs> now, see, I wanted to give El Guapo a fair warning before the start of our show tonight here at Punishment, because it will be punishment for everybody not involved with us. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, yes, indeed. This is going to be the beginning of something very big here at CFWE. Very, very big. Very big. So I had to go and I had to find the very best that were here. And what better to start with than myself? I don't need another man that's going to be here with us. I found the woman, the woman that's going to be leading the women's division here for now on and forever, along with the Cruiserweight. Soon enough, once we get our women's belt here, she will be dominating each and every single person that comes into our grasp. But this is just the beginning. This is just the start. No. <laughs> See, I just wanted to give a fair, fair, fair warning. Anybody that crosses us, let it be known. We are the ministry, and we will not be taking any prisoners. We will be running through each and every single one of you. So help me God. <laughs> Thank you. That was awesome. This is my microphone, you crazy little bastard. That was Christian Mills. Christian Mills guy is really funny, man. I really do like that guy. He's insane. I can't understand anything he's saying, but it's fun. Yes. And I heard he's got a big surprise friendship present for me, and I love surprises. I don't know what the hell it is, but I can't wait. There's only one problem that I have with all this whole thing. I like the whole fact that he's got this plan set up. God's plan or something, church, I don't, I don't, I don't go to church, but whatever the hell it is that he's got going on, he can't come in as the Cruiserweight Champion and walk out the Cruiserweight Champion. The only reason these plans will not work out for you is because you can't stop El Guapo. Until then, we're going to have these two crazy sons of bitches. I can say bitches, right? I just can't say mother. Oh, right, okay. Two crazy sons of bitches in the ring going head to head. That's what the people want, that's what we're going to give them. But like I said, the ending result, we just can't stop El Guapo. See you next month as the new Cruiserweight Champion. Bye, boss. This wow. next match is for the CFW Cruiserweight Championship. As El Guapo faces the center Christian Mills, our CFW Cruiserweight Champion. Let's turn things over to our ring announcer, Ms. Monica Wow. I stepped on you. That was my bad. No. No, I figured. I, mean, I thought I could keep it coming back. I mean, sure. I got you. Uh, I figured that. We're a good team, Tony Chapman. That's a fact. This is my little favorite psycho. Yep. The little bastard. I love this psycho. Now, Christian Mills said in a promo recently. What is she doing out with him? Wow. This is a different look. This is a different look. 
I, I tried stealing it. I was going to sell it on eBay. Right? Yeah. Christian Middles has a pretty cool engine here. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. It's got a little 80s feel to it. And Christian Middles is a nut. It's a complete nut job. Yep. Being accompanied to the, to the ring by. In my opinion, the queen of the trap song. Riley Crow. I don't think she'll like that. She's got a weird kind of angel thing or something. I'm not very good at research, Tony. You know? It's okay. It's okay. I'm not very good at research. See, I like your Guapo too, though. El Guapo with the inspirational music. Christian Mills. Riley Crow, not 
really being a difference maker up to this point. Big chops to Christian Mills. Big chops. with a knee. Christian Mills breaking the 10 count. Yeah. Christian Mills has got fans. Yeah. Christian working on that right knee.
true winner right there. Ah. He's been on quite a roll as our Cruiserweight Champion. If you're not following CFWE's Facebook page, you're really messing out on some of my best content. If you didn't hear it to my morning before, I warned you something big was coming. No problem. You have plenty of time to get out of harm's way, but you still can't. Christian Mills, Mills throwing any sportsmanship out the window. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. I don't know if I would have said that, but okay. He thought everything was too perfect. So on the eighth day, God summoned a monster. And I belong here with me today. I see something in the distance. I'm not, I can't really make out what it is. He is not. What the hell is he doing? What in the hell? What the hell? Oh, my shit. Jesus, God Almighty knows. Yep. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. He almost hit the lights. He almost hit the lights. Wow. Christian Mills may have just become the strongest competitor in the CFW. Oh my God. Think about it. Think about it. Who's going to stop gonna, that? Who's going to mess with him? Are you kidding me? I believe he's calling himself the ministry. Again? No. Yeah, no way. No. no way. Are you serious? Go out there and try to save him. I'm not going in there with that big guy. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, I love you, Guap, but I love you from a distance. Yeah. I don't think I can take the beast. I'm just saying. Oh my God. The beast is a big dude. Look, he's gonna step over. Ladies and gentlemen. Is he gonna step over? Look, he steps over the top of the box. Yeah, the guy's a monster. An absolute monster. Oh my. The damage he's going to do here at the CFWE. But you know what? I went out, I found somebody actually on my side. We got ourselves a manager, and in one night, we took these. Where are you at now? You shut your mouth, you sit there at the commentator, commentator's table like you're something big, but we're running the show now. You got nothing on us. We're not 250 like everyone else, like in your main event, like you want. But you know what? We're just better than all of them, because we took these in one night, and we're not losing them.
this field, and they just are about to find out they ran into a train tonight. Folks, Psycho Stan is a two-time... Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. Find out who are there, man. Tell them what they've won. Let you know. Oh, wow. I know that Whoa. music. Steps. Those steps are a little shady. They're designed for failure, that's for sure. Definitely designed for failure, yeah. As we hear the music of Eddie, Eddie Brock. Brock. The American gangster, Eddie uh, Brock. We got Hannibal. Making Hannibal's away. a big dude. Make it away with somebody here that I do not like. I, I am not a fan of Hannibal. At all. I like this team. Folks, if you've been watching this, Barry Matthews is smart. He's not telling out of there. Eddie Brock has been on a tremendous rampage. The American gangster has now aligned himself with Hannibal here tonight. Eddie Brock is cool music. We got a little promotion here with the fans. He's 
in the ring, all right. There you go. Yeah. Jeez, who hired this guy? Yeah. I'm the one getting fined? Yeah. I think we can make a case for it. No, I'm going to hire a lawyer. There's no way I'm getting in the ring. You think you're going to do that? There's no way I'm getting in the ring with them for free next month. With me? Oh, not you. I mean, uh, Cumber Chapman. There's no way. I'm hiring a lawyer. Yeah. Psycho Stan now talking shit, yeah. claiming to be the big guy in the ring as Hannibal you know, makes the tag. It's hard to argue with Psycho Stan. The American Gangster now back in the ring. I like Eddie Brock. Uh, it's tough. Mutual. Mutual respect for the idiot. Yeah. He's good, dude. Oh, knee to the That's mouth now. Knee. And they are dominating. Kicks him right in the head. Or and something he like that. For another one. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Both Psycho teams. Definitely. Seems like both teams are willing to break the rules. I'm trying to figure out if this referee can count. And I already yeah. say one, two, and Nieves. Yeah. I'm not sure what Nieves is, but I'm pretty sure it means snow in Spanish. Yeah. Oh, Eddie now headbutting the shit out big of Eddie Brock. Stan. Stan looking dazed and confused. You know, it's hard to deny. This is turning out to be a pretty good tag team. As we go on now, Eddie's still working on Stan's lower body. Destroying that shoulder and arm. That guy looks like he has to take a shit now with all the rim shots he got caught with. Yeah, now he's just stretching him out. Now, Brock. All that stretch on the shoulder and the testicular region. Stan looks washed up right now. He needs to make a tag. Yeah. R.A. Matthew here talking crap to the referee. Yeah, yes. No one understands what's coming out of his mouth. No. no why would anyone want to hear it? You know what I'm saying? Here's a conspiracy. Yeah. So Tanya Chapman. Yeah. Find me three thousand dollars for you. Oh, you swear you word. find him three thousand dollars for swearing? Yeah. But, uh, but she doesn't find R. A. Matthew for that stupid, ridiculous yeah. suit he got on. Yeah. He should receive a fine for that suit. I have to agree there. That's okay. It looks like a bench spread from a day's end. Referee with the two Nineteen Yeah. Eddie now pounding his way down that cycle stand that out definitely like his bitch. Sure, 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 Makes sure. the tag to Hannibal now. There's no way he, there's no way he paid a lot of money for that last suit, I'm not saying. But Ari Matthews is clients. Another quick tag success back speaks for itself. They are the CFWE Tag Team Champions, and they earned them. They definitely earned them. Big atomic drop. Bobby P is working that arm over. 
crying like a little bitch. Yeah. Oh, that was oh, a wow. wow. Bobby P just stayed on that arm. Bobby P just coming a long way. Quick, man. He's not going to be beating up Jerry Swirls anymore with that hand broken. Yeah. You know what, man? Jerry Swirls and Brothers in Arms are going to be here in August. In August? Yeah. Man, so, uh, you know, it's also Brothers in Arms. Whoa. No. No, that's no, right. Didn't. That's no, right. He didn't. Swirls is no, here, he baby. Didn't. Swirls no, is he here. Didn't. Swirls no, is he here. Didn't. That's no, he right. Didn't. No, you didn't. fat piece of shit. That is the last <laughs> time you ever mess up a viral moment for me. Swirls is here. Yes. Swirls is going to come out right now and beat the living crap out of Anibu. Shut up, Eddie. Shut up. That man deserves this right now. That's what they get, Tanya. That's what they get, though. That's what the whole CFWE gets. Hey. All right. Hey. That's for my friends over at ARW. I stuck a flag up someone's ass, and I got no clout. Another chop that sand chops the hell out of animal. Shades him Hollywood of Hulk Hogan here. Pushes yeah. him. Animal kind of looks like a 16-year-old kid in the face. He looks like, you ever remember that wrestler Poppy Chulo? Yeah. <laughs> he looks like a bootleg version of that. <laughs> That's just, uh, nice block. Oh, Whoa! Arm broke. Nice good. cross arm breaker. He should break the other arm, too. Cross arm breaker, Miss Tanya. Now, 
right back in. Oh, elbow to the face, another elbow to the face. And he's out the ring. Bobby B is thrown out to the floor. R.A. Matthews is an isolating psycho stand, which is the right move. Whoa, back off the floor. Brock, out the ring now. Yeah. Stan oh, yeah, setting this Hannibal up. If he hits this, it's over. This could be... Oh! Wow. It's like a reverse float wow. or DET or something. I don't know what you call that. I have to ask... Hey, what does Stan call that? What does Stan call that? What? Okay. You're working on it. You should work on that cheap polyester suit you got yeah. on, Mr. Matthews. Really? They don't know what the hell the name of Stranger is. He has no idea. Bobby Heenan is rolling in the yeah. grave with that cheap outfit I'm the guy got on. Your winner tonight, Psycho Stan. We really do need to find out what he calls the name of that finish. R.A. Matthews. Because he's won P.P. Nieves. Almost all his matches with it. What's that gentleman's name? P.P.? P.P. Nieves, what's his name? Poppy Peebies. Poppy Peebies? Yeah. Polaroid Lini, whatever the hell his name is. Yeah. And still, your CFWB Tag Team Champions. Oh, he's upset now. Combing his hair like a little bitch. What Here the hell we go now. Brock? I don't know what's going on. But he Whoa. definitely slammed him. It's Eddie over. Brock just shit cans Hannibal. to your hood because apparently there's no competition for AOD and his outlaw championship so they had to come and get me. I much the blood and I'm going to make this short and sweet not a long-winded promo. AOD, as soon as I step foot through those ropes, you're not facing your average Floridian. You're not facing your local mark. You're facing Panther Rodriguez. And I'm going to tell you this right now. That title's coming home with me. Panther, though kind of an asshole, has the pedigree. Angel of Darkness better look out. The family contest is scheduled for one four from San Cross in New York City, waiting for 240 pounds. Panther Rodriguez!
Diablo champion, Angel of Darkness.
Coach, you've had the run. He's got a good chance of winning this. Oh, he's got to sit on the run. It was a three count, but the ref didn't realize that his leg was on the run. Oh, okay. He's seen it after the fight. Another referee brought to us by Optic World. Yes. Normally, he's been the doggy on the spot tonight. Yeah, he's pretty good, though. But this match. Yeah, well, you know. Maybe he's tired. Probably. Oh, nice back chop. You know, I want to talk about the next match for a minute. Just for a minute. Okay, let's go. Kakiros. 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 Catch can wrestling crab. All I know about this guy is he's very, very technically sound. And he's going to give the Kickstarter Jacob Bell all he can handle, I think. It's going to be probably one of the best matches we've ever had at CMWE. That's, I'm going to call my shot. I'm going to say that match is going to be the best match we've ever had at CMWE. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're calling it like that? Yeah. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Todd, you're going to have to make a decision. 
He saw it happen. Oh, here we go. Wait, here we go. Oh, wow. And we get the referee's official decision. Angel of Darkness. Apparently still your CFWE outlaw champion. Jacob Guile, Jacob Guile, you got a match tonight? I do. That ring, that ring right there, that belongs to the Kickstarter, all right? Nobody else can come up to my level. You should understand that, right? So whoever I'm going up against is some crab guy, right? Some weirdo who thinks that he's a sea creature, right? I'm gonna put him back in the damn sea, make him swim with the fishes, and I'm going to go on to any other person that wants to come at the Kickstarter. Because I don't care who wants it, they're going to get it. I promise. Jacob Gall also is kind of a dick. The Kickstarter Jacob Gall. Gall. And Caracos. Let's turn it over to Monica Storm. Yep.
Jericho is so well versed. Me and Tony Chappers ate a bunch of peanuts. Unable to finish the peanuts. Jacob Guile, not a fan favorite. Not a fan favorite, no. But he is double tough and he's vicious. Laying a big elbow to the back of the head. He's tall, he's rangy, he's got a leverage advantage.
Pizza, pizza, he's dead. Ah, uh, Carico just kicks out. Carico just kicks out. I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe Jacob Gallo is wondering if he has what it takes. Yeah. To beat Karakos. Karakos slowly making his way up. Oh wow, he's taking some damage. I think he just spit out one of his teeth. That's what I was I think, I, I think he did. Is that a tooth or what the hell was that? I'm not, I'm not going to investigate. No, I'm not either. I'm good. He's nice big nope. strike. Oh. <laughs> the fans say the funniest thing. Wow. That could be it. One of the fans said, night, night, MF. <laughs> Why am I in a 
powerful threat match. Huh? Could you not find one singular person that was man enough to step up to the plate and beat me? No, you couldn't. So, as a matter of fact, right now, I want to say JDX, Draven Blaze, you two guys can bicker and fight and moan and complain and do whatever you want to do with each other. That's fine. I want you to forget about me because the fact is I am smarter than you will ever be. And at the end of the night, while y'all two are doing y'all's thing, I'm going to sneak up from behind, take you out, and still walk out your heavyweight champion because that's what I do. I beat losers like you, and I remain your champion. So, there's that. Next time, give me one person, not two. Kind of a dickhead, but you heard it from our heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to our main event. Red and Black, our heavyweight champion against JDX. And Draven Blade. And a triple threat. This, this, match, match, this match has been ruined. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to yeah. see how it turns out. Yeah, absolutely. Let's All turn right, things over. Oh, go ahead. My bad. <laughs> well, My let's bad. turn things over to Monica Storm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And
whenever he needs to. This has been Brian. This has been Brian for a while. Tiger hey, Woods stepped on JDX's toes at a different show. What about what happened last month? Ari Matthews goes out and gets death row, death row. Draven, Draven Blaze beats him by pinball. Right. Did Draven deserve to be in this match as much as JD does? Here. Brennan 
Draven falling out on the... Uh oh, there goes the chair with Vernon. Oh! JD said, not today, big boy. Wishing you a happy ado. Bye.